this is an open flywheel project high crush strife cage and, and to, for the um, purposes of just being completely transparent I won this in a contest uh, and read it I didn't purchase this cage but I also didn't have any communication with with the guy who printed it so anyways we want to test this thing out we're going to put it on a, into a strife I am going to let's see if we can get a get a good look at here the the open part of the cage, uh, the back motor down the dark guide. Uh, I'm going to put this into a strife, and we're going to test it with stock flywheels, and we're going to test it with containment containment crew cyclone uh, flywheels. Put some darts through it. We'll put some elites through it. We're going to put some kush through it, and we'll put some waffles in, through it. So let me take this in, get this installed, and get some chrono test readings. All right, we've got a lot to discuss here. I, I made some notes on some of the numbers. I'm going back to refer to them. With the standard, with the stock Strife flywheels, we saw some really nice numbers coming out of here. Elites weren't that great. They're about 10 FPS over what you'd see from a normal stock cage, about 131 average. Um, but for the Koosh and for the waffle darts, excellent numbers. I've got an average of 147 on the Koosh and 153 on the waffle with a top shot of 159. That was with stock flywheels. Things get really inter got really interesting when I put the containment crew wheels in there. Saw averages from the elite darts of 158. This is this is numbers that are similar to what I'm getting in my my hailstorm, my four flywheel builds, and this is out of a single cage. Now these were running. I just was running Kaizen 17114s. I ran them off of four IMRs, spin up. There's nothing special. There's nothing flashy. In fact, it's kind of a low end from a motor setup as far as these these are concerned. But it was enough to, to keep the flywheels going for the crush to for about two darts a second going through and getting the numbers. 158 on elites is crazy. For Kush, I got 160 average, and the top shot was around 171. And that number fluctuated. I don't know if it just too much started to get into too much crush for uh, the Kush. Uh, this cage reduces your gap down to eight millimeters with, with stock flywheels. And when you throw containment crews in there, that, that goes down to about seven millimeters. That's, that is a, a tremendous crush. You're, you're less than half or around half the distance, uh, the width of the dart. You're squeezing it way down. And I think the Kush. They worked well, but I think it started to get into a little consistency problems with that because we saw some shots in the 140s, 150s, 160s, and even up to 170 with those, so a, a wider range. And I think that was due, we're, we're getting to the limit of how far you can realistically compress uh, a Kush dart. But the thing that, that absolutely blew me away with this was the numbers off the waffle. I got an average of 168 off of a waffle tip dart. I've got four uh, two-stage setups, I can't get a waffle dart that going that fast. Out of, out of the hailstorms, out of the other ones. And this is, again, this is a single cage just running some 130 motors in here. 168 FPS. This has completely got me uh, blown away. The question's going to come up as to, okay, well, that's great, 168 was the accuracy. And I think I, I can I can say I'll put an asterisk beside it because I only did a, a few shots or a, a, did a, a clip and a couple like two or three clips of waffles through this, but I think this was the most accurate Nerf gun I have ever shot. 
I had I have a tr setup that I like to use. I don't have it on video, and I apologize that I don't have the, the video for this. But I've got a tree that's about uh, 15 inches wide. And I stand it back about 30 feet from that. It's a pretty decent uh, approximation of you know being able to engage a player. Usually, I see somewhere between 14 and 16 out of 18 uh, darts going into the tree. I think that's a good um, the thing. This one put 18 out of an 18 right into it, dead shot, dead straight. Only two of them actually even hit the side of the tree. The other 16 went into the center of the tree. It, it completely blew me away with this build. So anyways, I'm going to have to get do this, play with this setup a little bit more, try some different combinations as far as uh, get into a rapid strike, maybe into my quadulus, um, start playing around with some things like that, doing this, because this has... I'm very impressed by what this cage does. Now, uh, I to quibble just a little bit, I did have one issue with it, and it might be a print issue, and it might be a little bit of design, but these center holes where the motor comes through, not the screw holes, but the um, uh, holes right there with the shaft, they were a little bit too narrow. I had to take a 15, 30 second, uh, yeah, 15, 30 second drill bit and kind of ream them out so that the motors would fit properly in there. But other than that, this cage worked it was flawlessly anyways i'm uh, i'm geeking out a little bit here because i'm i'm still blown away that i got 168 on a single cage waffle setup waffles just don't go that fast so anyways uh this is uh, a look at the open flywheel project um, their strife cage they make them for moduluses they make them for i do lap, rapid red desolators um, for the demolisher they've got a number of cages out there um, and so this is my look at this and review and I, i'm out of words i don't know what else i can say but thanks for watching